pals hang above the baby and use something similar to a pulley system. When one pacifier drops and falls out of sight, another is in view and in reach. This interaction enables independence, which is great for those times when parents need an extra hand. Pulley pals are also very entertaining and packed with developmental benefits. Parents are raving about my product, creating a demand that I can't keep up with. I could really use some help. So, be a pal and invest in pulley pals. Thank you, and I would like to pass out samples. We'd love thank to you. see them. Hey, Robert, that is Puddles. Oh, thank you, Julie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> puddles. This is Momo. Thank you. Here is another Puddles and Moo Moo. Moo Moo, appreciate it. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Julie, I remember when my kids were small, I'm with you, huge problem. Pass for I fell out all the time. But then I bought a clip, and that solved the problem. What's the difference between that and a clip? The clip helped me keep up with the pacifier, and at least it didn't fall on the floor. But it doesn't help the baby, because they don't understand once it's out of their line of sight. Right, how much do you have in sales? I have the last 12 months, 97000 Which isn't so bad for, nope, you know. Bad. Right. Where are these sold right now? They are sold on Amazon, as well as about 350 stores across the US. Which stores? Uh, specialty. Boutiques. So what does this cost? The retail $19.99 up to $24.99. And what does it cost you to make one? $4.50. Where are you driving most of your sales from? Uh, trade shows. You mentioned developmental benefits. Yes. Right brain, left brain coordination. How does that help with that? Between your right brain and left brain, it's important for the two of those to kind of cross over between one another. Like they, when they're young, they will ask you, does your baby grab something and pass it to the other hand? And so because you have both sides, the baby's forced to grab a Right. Both. So there is one more that thing that's really great about this. We recently developed, you can see on that tree right there, teethers. They pop into the holders as well. So you can change it up. It gives it more versatility. You can put a pacifier on one side, teether on the other, pacifier on both, as well as on the other side of that tree, they're called the minis. These are adorable. They're uh, little mini versions of the big guys, and they all come with a counterpart. So like the monkey is gonna come with a banana that you can actually peel. So. And it fits into the little pulley and system? And they all, everything is designed to fit. What is the outlying age that a child would still use a pacifier? I see three-year-olds with them, you know. I... Okay, let's make it 24 so. months, right? Yes. Two years, that's probably the outstretch. So what percentage of the population is 24 months, between zero and 24 months at any one time? Well, over four million babies are born in the U.S. every year. Okay, so, so we should say that eight million candidates are within our target, right? So we've got eight million customers a year and pretty well everyone is getting one, and right. yet our share on a dollar basis from what you told me is really small. You can start with the price point being too high because you can buy a pacifier and an attaching, you know, elastic cord thing right. for, I don't know, four bucks? Sure, but those don't, you know, they're not interactive. It's not, a, this it's just, is not just a pacifier. I'm just asking, moving. is it distribution that's the problem? Is it the price point that's the problem? What's holding you back? What is holding you back? I'm a one-person company. I'm everything. I'm so you do it all. I do you it do all. I designed every one of these guys down to every Pantone color and every belly. I think it's very clever. So I'm gonna make you an offer. Whoa! I didn't see that coming. Okay. I'm gonna offer you a hundred thousand dollars for thirty percent equity sale. For thirty percent. And I have the connections. Yes, you do. To Bye Bye Baby and Toys R Us. Hmm, let's see. Well, my ask was 100000 for 20%. I think I just heard this cow moo. <laughs> this cow mooed. What, what are you going to do, Joe? You better take it What are you going to do? Would you consider 25%? Ooh, really? 97000 in sales for, you know, one person and a handful of trade shows. That's, that's, you know. For 5%? Yeah, and move. For 5%? Yes. Go 28 and I'm in. We have a deal. We've got a deal. All right. 